travelers and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hotel review and tour. We are going to Portree, Scotland today. That is on the Isle of Skye and it is a beautiful little town and the hotel that I stayed at was the Bosville Hotel. The Bosville is downtown Portree and it looks over the Portree Harbor. Uh, which the harbor is absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about what the hotel looks like and the room looks like. So let's get into that portion of the video. So first off, the hotel is very much a kind of like historical feel. Seems like a, an old pub hotel, if that makes any sense. On the bottom floor, we have the lobby and the restaurant and the bar. And then you walk up the stairs and you go to all of the different rooms. Upstairs, you have a ton of different options for different rooms. We just decided to get the one bedroom uh, double bed so that was what, what our option was just because it's just Jamie and I. So when you walk into the room you immediately see the full full bedroom. There is the double sized bed that fit both of us really really easily. It was like kind of close to a king sized bed. There was two different nightstands, and then on one portion of the wall, there was also this like hanger where you could hang a bunch of different like coats and etc. Um, and put some clothing on like a different section. It was like an open closet, if that makes any sense. But then there was like a desk that you could like fold out and in and use it for, you know, getting ready, putting your makeup on, doing your hair, or use it as a work desk if you need to work or get on the computer for whatever reason. Reason. Then there was a TV with like a with like a bar armoire on the bottom. It was a small little area where there was like waters and just informational stuff, etc. And then to the right of that was the door into the bathroom. The bathroom was pretty spacious and it had a like a shelf right above the sink, which was super nice because you can store some of your stuff on there because no one likes a crowded bathroom. That is not fun. Uh, so that was really awesome and it just had the basic necessities a sink, a toilet, and a shower. And also the mirror was really cool because like to turn it on you like touched a certain way. I don't know. Just a cool little tidbit. But yes, that is what the look of the room was. So the next section that I always get into in these videos is I talk about the pros and the cons. I always like to get the bad stuff out of the way first, so let's go ahead into the cons. So these cons aren't necessarily cons, more just good to knows for certain people and what they're looking for in a hotel. So the first con is that there is no elevator. I wanted to mention this because although I'm young, my husband's young, we're both healthy and able, I wanted to mention this to anybody that was elderly or had any type of like knee or leg or any type of issues health wise where it is hard for them to walk upstairs. Um, you do have to carry all of your stuff upstairs. The people at the front desk are very willing to help you, however I always feel bad asking them for help because my suit my suitcases are always so heavy <laughs> and that's so, you know, that's frustrating. I don't want them to hurt themselves or anything. So it's just something good to know that you will have to walk upstairs to get to your room. This is something that's really common in Scotland where you don't really have elevator options. So it's just something good to know if that's something that is going to hinder your trip for you. Now the second con is also an interesting one because um, it's just kind of like the lay of the land. So there aren't a lot of parking options for this hotel and if I had to guess about 9 out of 10 people are probably going to be renting a car or bringing a car up here because you would it would be impossible to see Isle of Skye if you didn't have a vehicle. So there's about 5 to 7 parking spots right in front of the hotel but often these are all filled. We did get really lucky a couple times and was able to score a parking spot. Um, however, there are a couple parking options around town, but sometimes those also get filled up too. So there's a parking lot that is a public parking that you do have to pay for, and then there's a bank that uh, some of the people at the hotel had suggested that we park at after hours, so if the bank is open, don't park there, but they said that you're more than welcome to after hours, so 
Just to let you know, parking might be a little difficult. There was one night where we had a really hard time finding parking. It was a Saturday night, so I'm sure people were like out to dinner and stuff. Um, we did end up, after circling probably like five to six times, we did end up finding a parking spot. Um, but it's just something good to know. So let's go ahead into the pros because there's far more pros than there are cons at this hotel. So I absolutely loved our stay here. I loved that it felt like a really cute boutique hotel. It felt very historic. Everybody was so nice that worked here. It was really clean and I slept really well. I opened the window at night and got that fresh Scotland breeze into our room and oh my gosh, it was so great. Um, so that was really, really awesome. The hotel restaurant, like I was saying previously, is literally delicious, so good. I had so many amazing meals here and we met a couple other people while we were down there and made some really good friendships. And yeah, so it was really, really an amazing experience. I also felt like the cost was very worth it as well. Um, some of the hotels in the area can be either really, really expensive or extremely cheap. Like, I'm, I'm not sure which way you wanna go, but I felt like this was a really in the middle place where I w felt like what I was getting was worth it. Um, and yeah, so that was one of the reasons why initially I booked because the pricing was really good. The bed size was really nice. The room sizes seemed nice and I'm really happy we went with this. I would definitely book again because it was such a nice experience. So overall, we had such amazing time at the Bosville Hotel. I highly suggest to book it. I think you could not go wrong by staying here. It's in a great area. It's beautiful. The views are beautiful from the front of the hotel because it's looking over the harbor. So I highly suggest staying here. You'll have a great experience if you do and also everyone will treat you really well. If I had to give it a star rating, I would give it a four out of five. A uh, five out of five experience, but a four out of five overall, just because um, it wasn't quite like a five star hotel, but everything was really, really wonderful and we had such a good experience. So I would definitely give it a four out of five stars. But anyway, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys do decide to book here, let me know. I'd love to hear your experience regarding the stay at your ho at this hotel. But also let me know if you guys have stayed anywhere else on Isle of Skye if you have any other suggestions I would love to hear that but make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one bye and happy travels